Go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter. Now, it's very easy to get his newsletter. You come over to TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content, the opening call. You just hit the opening call. You're going to hit subscribe. You can get the, the newsletter for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, folks, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You like it, great. You keep it. For some reason, it doesn't work for you. Guess what? Just tell us you want your money back. No problem. Basil, in particular, has approximately 10 to 12 archives on his site. So the bottom line, once you get it, you're going to understand how to look at this market, how to ride that Chapman wave every single day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. Cool, man. So we get a market, huh? We always have a market. And the interesting thing here is I, I had mentioned to you, I think, last week that what I'm looking at closely and what we've been looking at uh, for months now is how so many stocks come back to within pennies of their previous high and, and then start to pull back again. And we're looking at the Dow at 36,565 all-time high not on the 8th of November, drops all the way down to the 200-period moving average exactly, gets to the 34,022 level, spikes up to 36,189, pulls back very sharply to the 34,715 area, and then has almost like an A to B equals C to D, although in the chapter we call it leg C, a move to the upside. And what is the high today? 36,527. It is unbelievable. It's within 40 points of the all-time high, and this is weeks and weeks later. So I, I've got to consider that this is a pattern that I need to be uh, uh, cognizant of, Going into the end of the year, one of the things I spoke about all the way back in October, as I said, if the Dow, especially the Dow, but if, if the Dow closes in November, at the end, last week of October, the first week of November, close to the yearly high, then there's a really good chance that somehow, some way, it closes pretty close to that level by the end of the year. That's been the history, just that's from my memory. I didn't actually go back and check it out, but that's just my memory. So we are very close. We've got a couple of days to go, and I'm watching these potential double tops. Now, the S&P, uh, I should also mention that we have very good technicals, actually, in this leg C, in the, in the chapter wave. We're always looking for at least a D. You saw this peak D right here in the weekly chart. Uh, but most importantly is, I've got a lagging on balance volume. Stochastic has finally gotten over 80% to 85%. That's a good sign. The MACD is good. The 90 is over the 14. So it's really going to be bad news or something that comes up very suddenly if there's going to be another sharp drop. But I'm anticipating that we have some kind of a pullback in the next day or so. Then we do go to this leg D. And that's where I think we've got to be careful again. And one of the reasons I say that is, look, here's the S&P. This is the daily chart. <clears throat> has spiraled above the previous high. Um, 47, 43, 83 was the high on the 22nd of November. We're quite a bit above that now. We're at uh, the high today is 48.07. So that doesn't have the double top aspect, but it does have this rising channel with a, what I call a Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. You can see every time in this weekly chart, the middle chart, the price got up into this very narrow little mini channel, like a green on the upside, because if it pierces that decisively, that's a big breakout. But if it stalls from the pink line to the green line, which is done so many times over the last six, seven months, that's another sign that says, okay, it could pull back. But it is a rising channel. So far, we've got rising highs and rising lows. So that's good. So there's a real big divergence going on. The QQQ hasn't been able to accomplish the same thing, but it's pretty good so far. The high today is 404.58, and the all-time high is 408.71. So you can see what I'm talking about with the chances of these double tops coming in very close to one another. Yes. Hey, Basil, right. let, let me ask you. So the yes. – the, when we're – the, the chart before this, but the S&P on a monthly is only on a B, right? But uh, yeah, 
I don't know how to explain this. No, that's all right. I, I just, I, 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 I get it. That's, that's cool. So it is amazing that because right. in the travel wave methodology, a buy signal that goes technically to a buy mode and absolutely everything about the monthly chart yep. is in a buy mode. It should go to at least four higher peaks to a peak. No, which, which is cool. No, I, I can see that. Okay. And, and that doesn't tell you that's, I use a completely separate thing to talk about the pullbacks, but. Can you imagine that we've gone from March of twenty, <laughs> March of twenty twenty, at twenty one ninety one, and we've only had look at this minor little peak. It was only thirty or forty cents away from an all time high, and uh, what we are looking at, and that's really important, is that within the context of um, monthly charts, one little peak from March twenty twenty, and here we are, December of. 2021 and we've only had one minor little peak we're in leg b because we made a new uh, recover a new all-time high in right. the month of december and that says if you if you use just basic numbers you've got let's just say no matter what happens january does not make a new high whatever the high is in december january does not make a new high so that makes peak b then no matter how deep you go down it doesn't matter you're going to have to make a leg c which is higher than b so that goes January, then February starts leg C. Let's say March, uh, you, you pull back for peak C. Then you get your leg D, and that takes you to April, and that makes it May before you can get an all-time high at the, at the soonest. And it doesn't, once again, that doesn't tell you how high you're going to go. It just says that there should be higher highs uh, to come over the next few months. Well, that quite that sounds months. like some fun. <laughs> well, you know what I'm thinking? I, because, you know, we keep talking about this rotation. And if you look at some yes. of these stocks, they've been just absolutely hammered. I mean, the reason why the QQQs aren't leading anymore is you've got stocks like a, a DocuSign and so many, uh, even a stock like Adobe, which was it's a fantastic company. It was leading all the way. Um, even that's pulled back. Let's see, ADBE. Look, Adobe is pulled back very sharply from the 699.54 uh, all-time high down to the 540s. It's now trading at 579. So there's a lot of work to be made up. So my suspicion is this, that the rotation continues, that we're going to see. Oh, is there something? Uh, no, no, we can hear you. No, just keep going. Uh, we can, we can hear you. Can, you can also see that within the different context of the IWM, which is, you know, this, that was leading once, and then it started to fail. And now it's from 244 high of November, it's pulled back all the way to the 209 level, it's at 223. So my suspicion is that the rotation will go on. And it's funny because I'm sure you're aware of this, just the retail with Amazon. Look, the R RTH, which is the retail index, is acting completely different to the XRT and and the RTH has Amazon and the XRT reach S&P doesn't. And that's the market. We're in a mixed market, very diverse. We've got to be very selective. And so far, we remain along the Dow. And folks, very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank Bob. you.